Have you ever wondered how much data you use while you're on the internet? Let's find out. First, we'll bring things down to size. This is one byte of data, the amount needed to generate a single character on your screen. If we say this byte is equal to one drop of water, then an email you send would contain enough drops to fill an entire glass. That's seven kilobytes, or about 12 ounces of water. Now, if you attach an image to that email, you'd have enough to fill an entire bottle. That's 20 kilobytes of data, or 20,000 drops. A rich media web page, like you'd see on the New York Times website, would fill a large goldfish bowl. And a single downloaded song from iTunes is enough to fill a small aquarium. A video you watch on YouTube is enough water to fill a kiddie wading pool. While a half-hour TV show from a site like Hulu is enough to fill a hot tub. Watching a movie in standard definition is enough to fill a koi pond. And a feature-length HD movie? That's over 900 million bytes of data. Enough water to fill an entire backyard swimming pool. 12,000 gallons. That's a lot of water, but when it comes to data, it's really just a drop in the bucket. In fact, if you were to take all the data traveling through the internet over a day and a half, you'd have enough water to fill Chesapeake Bay. 19 trillion gallons of water, 190 quintillion bytes of data. That's 1.6 billion HD movies. 365 billion songs from iTunes, 200 trillion emails. And it all starts with a single drop. Go to our website and use our bandwidth calculator to find out how much data you use.